Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we've got a wonderful pumpkin spice everything on the show today. Two okay? weeks right? from today. Right? And two weeks from today is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? The one you cannot live without that has to be side dish. 100% stuffing. It's not even yeah. a question. Does that count as a side dish? It is. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Now, do you like just the, the stuffing in the bag that you put the water in? No, no, no. My mom has a very special recipe that I've had growing up, and she's taught me how to make it. And we do some in, but we it is a side because we do it on the side as well. Bake it separately. I'm going to go with stuffing and uh, fruit salad. Mm. Fruit oh. salad, of course. <laughs> stuffing. How did I know? <laughs> stuffing. <laughs> Uh, for, for me, it's broccoli rice casserole. It's broccoli what? rice casserole. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! Broccoli yeah. rice casserole. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah, that was I haven't I've had never, that. I've never heard of that as a Thanksgiving side. It sounds really good though. So, yeah. hey, uh, Courtney. By the way, um, you know, you're always wanted to like to cook for us. So we'll be okay. expecting a little taste test on that. What next okay. week? Sometime. All right, that that's would be fine. great. No pressure. Yeah. Okay. It's right. just an every season thing now. So I just have to cook every holiday. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's okay. become a thing. Sounds okay. good. We, I'm not gonna say no. I love food. And, and, and you missed out on the the last holiday that you usually make the potato latkes for and everything. So you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jill's is one. You always, you always two now. So. Two. Yeah, you guys work on that. We'll take it from here. And uh, what is your favorite Thanksgiving side? You oh, know it. I know, you I know it. You know it. Sweet potatoes. Yes. Sweet potato casserole, which Absolutely. is very good. Yep. Do you like it when there's a um, little bit of like, mm -hmm. some uh, syrup on there and the, and the pecans? Oh, yes. That sweet kind? Oh, yes. You know, I think I like really good mashed potatoes and gravy. And then you put a little gravy over the stuffing, too, and some wild rice. I know that's three, but I just... Well, yeah. But it's yeah, all going to the same place. Well, it, it is, so. <laughs> yeah, so we want to know what... And do you have any special recipes as well? Yes. You know, like Courtney's mom teaches mm -hmm. her how to make that uh, that stuffing, so... You know, something that's a tradition. Let us know at SA Live Case at on Facebook and mm -hmm. Twitter. All right, well, we all know it takes a lot of prepping for Thanksgiving, and most of the time, breakfast gets overlooked because everyone's thinking about... Well, yeah, because you, you probably kind of want to sort of save room for all the, the big turkey and everything mm -hmm. like that. But how about a good, warm, yummy breakfast that, oh, my gosh, if you could smell this right now. <laughs> everybody's like walking in here going, right now. the aroma is it's absolutely so wonderful. Good. Annie Vu from Annie's Petite Treats. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are how we, good does that smell? Right? I mean, yes. I, I love everything you've got you've got here, but what are we making today? We are making pumpkin spice waffles, which pumpkin is a family spice. favorite right now. Super easy to make, and it doesn't take any precious stovetop or oven space uh, Thanksgiving morning. So. Okay. And like you said, this mm -hmm. is something that you can you make batter the night before, yep. stick in the fridge for a while, right? Yep, stick it in the fridge overnight, and then when you wake up, put it on the counter, get the waffle iron ready, and then everyone can make their own breakfast as they come and go in the morning. I love that. So yeah. it frees up everything else. Exactly. Like the ovens and the... Exactly. And, the <laughs> okay. and your okay. time. And your stove, <laughs> yes. How do we get started? Yep. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, let you guys start mixing the ingredients. Okay. We'll start in this bowl with the dry ingredients. Okay. It's and a I'll cup the, and a half of flour. Okay. The wet in here. Pre measured. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And, and then, then baking soda, powder, and salt. Okay. So pretty much just uh, kind of an, the ordinary stuff for a regular yep. waffle mix, right? Uh, the only special thing in there is the um, pumpkin uh, puree pumpkin. Okay. And the it's brown a cup sugar. of that, and then a quarter cup of brown sugar. Okay. No, no. Sorry. Mix it up. <laughs> Okay. I'm in the splash zone. Over I'm trying. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to whisk with the spatula here, which ain't which ain't working too yeah, well. Yeah, you might so. want to switch yeah, utensils there. There we go. There we go. Thank right. you very much. Uh -huh. Okay, now there we go. I'll move over here so I don't splash. <laughs> here, so. okay. And then I and I put the pumpkin in here. Yep, too? the pumpkin okay. and the sugar goes in there. Whisk it up. Might want need, the spatula. Need the spatula, back. spatula. Wow, yep. that spatula has everything on it right now. That's, <laughs> a, that's okay. And then we get Multi the multi-use tool. There, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where's that spatula stat? Okay. And then this okay. goes in there. Yep. Put the uh, brown yep. sugar in there. Quarter cup brown there sugar. Go. All right. There we and go. then while he's finishing that, that you can uh, make a little well in the middle of your dry ingredients. Oh, I'm making. A, oh, okay. And then he's gonna pour that. And then he's gonna pour it right in. Right in. All okay. mixed up in there really, really nice. There okay. So I'll mix this up? Yeah, mix okay. it up real okay. gently. Now, you also have really incredible desserts yeah. on display here. So what, what are we looking at on this plate? Uh, those are um, 
Thanksgiving cake ball. So I've got pumpkin spice, cranberry, orange, and chocolate turkeys. Oh, wow. They're the perfect okay. little bite-sized desserts uh, when you're stuffed after your Thanksgiving meal. You know, and this is perfect because so many times it's like, well, do I want a piece of pumpkin pie? Do I want a piece of pecan pie? Do I take a little sliver of each? And you, so can you, can, you, can just, you can have it all. You can really all. have it all. So, <laughs> yeah, and you know, just a couple of these things and you get a good taste instead of, you know, a whole piece. Yeah, don't have to full, feel so. as guilty. Even and after you eat like six of them. <laughs> and, and for those, for those of you who missed this you earlier, be right before the show, <laughs> those drumsticks over there are really fun yeah, to make Cocoa for Krispies. the kids and even with the kids. So tell folks what they're made out of. So it's Cocoa Krispies, um, crispy treats, and it's the pretzel rod and marshmallows for the drumstick leg. So really easy. The kids love making it, and it's just a fun addition to the table where nobody has to fight for the drumstick. That is such a great idea. Well, this looks perfect, okay. so I forgot the measuring cup, but you it's okay. pour about a quarter cup in there. There we go. Careful not to overfill mm -hmm. there. There we good. go. Because it's a thick batter. Yeah, it is. It it's is. got a thick consistency. It does. Okay. And then and takes what do you recommend a few minutes. On? Just butter and syrup? Butter or? and syrup. You can put chopped pecans, whipped cream, but I'm simple, so I love just butter and syrup. And we've got some maple syrup here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys can dig in. All right. Now, what do you have planned <laughs> for Thanksgiving? Uh, we go out to my aunt's ranch out in Milano, Texas. So, ah. cook out in the barn, tons of people, ATVs, fishing. It's a Dang. lot of fun. <laughs> All and, right. of course, a ton of little mini desserts. I was going to say, yeah, no, you come bearing gifts for <laughs> yeah. sure. And you have a little one. I do. Mm -hmm. She's one. So, this oh. will be her first Thanksgiving where she's on two feet. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. fantastic. What is your favorite side dish, by the way? Uh, mashed potatoes, for sure. <laughs> nice, nice and creamy mashed potatoes? Yep. Okay. So if folks want to order from you they can for visit the holidays, me. how early should they order from you? Um, now, as soon as possible. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> Things get, get a little crazy, but um, I'll be taking orders through uh, Monday before Thanksgiving. Okay. And, and they can find, find me on my <laughs> website at www.annie'spetitetreats.com. Okay. How, how is it? I, 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 I have to. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm so jealous. That okay. That's fantastic, Annie. Thank it's just you. Got that, that, just enough of a good little pumpkin yep. flavor in there. Yeah, so. and it's oh. great with hot cocoa, and I've got some homemade marshmallows set out, too. Yeah, come over to me. Here <laughs> that sounds fantastic on a cold morning. All right, and again, more information on Annie's Petite Treats, head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, of course, mm. we are getting ready. Pretty good stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Getting ready mm -hmm. to celebrate the 300th birthday of the Alamo City. And did you know that the person who invented, keep chewing there, I'll help Sorry. you out here, invented instant mashed potatoes is from right here in San Antonio. I David Elder, this. I didn't know that, know. has this month's Did You Know story. Did you know that San Antonio has ties to inventions like potato chips, soft serve ice cream, and Thanksgiving's favorite, instant mashed potatoes? That's right. Chemist and inventor Dr. William Davis is responsible for inventing all of these tasty items, including the organic glue that holds particle wood together. Davis's journey didn't begin in Texas, but he got here as soon as he could. Davis attended New York University in 1945, then moved to Florida to attend Talladega College shortly thereafter. He temporarily left college and served in the U.S. Armed Forces as Second Lieutenant of Engineers in the Korean War. After the war, Davis returned to Talladega College and earned his B.S. in chemistry in 1956. His pursuit for knowledge didn't stop there. Davis went on to earn his M.S. degree in organic chemistry from the Tuskegee Institute in 1958 and a Ph.D. in biochemistry from the University of Idaho in 1965. Idaho, potatoes, you see where this is going. As research director for Physicians Medical Laboratories, Davis became legendary. This is where he invented the potato chip, soft serve ice cream, the organic glue for particle board, and, drum roll please, instant mashed potatoes. You're probably thinking, well, that's great and all, David, but what does this have to do with San Antonio? I got you. Davis's last stop on his road to awesome was none other than St. Philip's College right here in San Antonio. In 1995, Davis was named full professor of chemistry at the college. And in 2009, Davis retired and was named professor emeritus of the natural science department and the science building at St. Philip's College was named in his honor. So thank you, Dr. William C. Davis, for protecting our country in the U.S. military and for your contribution towards Thanksgiving dinners across America. Okay, that's fascinating. Right? I love instant mashed potatoes. And now oh, I, I love it even more because... 
And I, I love finding out stuff mm -hmm. like that. Oh, I know you do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you store it away. You know, mine just, you know, goes out the other ear. You know, I know it for the next two minutes. Anyway. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll impress my wife later on. Today. She goes, How do you, why do you know it? You need to watch the show. It's an educational program. So, all right. It is worst best weather. Yep. And get ready. It is now time for another giveaway. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash SALiveKSAT. Click on the link and enter your information for a chance to win a family four-pack of tickets. All the rules, regulations, all the legalese and everything is right there on our website, SALive.com, and good luck. Perfect. Oh, yeah. It's and you were nice. just out there, as we saw. Yes. I got to preview it. Someone had to do it. All right. Coming up on SA Live, Veterans Team for Inexpensive... Veterans Team Up for Inexpensive Workouts and Inspiration. We'll introduce you to the RAH Fitness Program right after the break. Plus, who says puppies can't join in the pumpkin spice craze? We're whipping up some... <gasps> oh. oh she got these. Finally, she got some yeah. treats. The Good. lattes and the pancakes. Because the other one was kind of big. Oh, yeah. So, perfect for your, your fuzzy it. friends. That's coming up. If you have. Ah, another nice, cool, mm -hmm. beautiful day. Well, of course, Saturday is Veterans Day, mm -hmm. and we are putting the spotlight on a new fitness program in town that helps out folks both physically and mentally. Raw Fitness is a rotating program meeting up at local parks and charging less than $10 for workouts. Jen Tobias Strusky went to check out this inspirational group. There's nothing on there. It's not about working out, but it's coming together as a family. So what is RAW? RAW, Raw is Rising Above Hardships. It was created in July, um, and it's it's actually been it's blossoming since July up until now. Being a Marine who suffers PTSD, I've been alone before, so coming to RAW gives me that comfort, helps me step out of my comfort. Um, it motivates me to work out, um, being around fellow veterans. Um, and, and it's just coming together, rising above hardship. You know, all I wanted to do was, was give back to the community, give back to others. But what I've learned is, is the veterans that we, we empower to instruct the community, gives them a sense of purpose and, and back on mission to be like, yeah, this is what I've, I've always done before in the military, now I'm doing it in the community. And it gets them going, you know what I mean? It, it fires up that, that soul, that motivation within them. And not only that, like it heals the heart, it heals our heart. That's one rep. All right, we're gonna do five. To me, Ra means perseverance. Um, I learned in the Marine Corps, standing a fight is a big part of what we do. And it's not just a mental or physical or combat uh, term, it's what we do, it's what we stand for. Uh, standing a fight, working together, and pushing through. Uh, one thing that we, we live by in Ra Fitness is uh, together we rise over any hardship we may have. Uh, we work together to get through it. What started as a plea for help to veteran and Boston Marathon runner Jose Sanchez is now a community of veterans and civilians lifting each other up. It's a way for veterans to get back to the community and the community giving back to the veterans. And what we created it was, you know, one day it was where all we had was a jump rope, a vision of what we wanted to do. Now it's, it's, it's blossomed into something beautiful. These raw leads meet up a few times a week, paying only a $5 fee to work out. From lifting tires to swinging heavy ropes, the intensity is high, but so is the motivation. Woo! We don't, we don't teach or we don't want to instruct just physical, but the, the, the mind, the spirit, and the soul and the heart of things. Uh, we feed off of each other. We're loud. We're motivated. You know, we don't leave anybody behind, and, and we rise together. We grow together. The instructors take their jobs very serious, especially when they have to push these raw leads out of their comfort zone. Being able not to do a pose or have the confidence to do a pose and the next time they're able to hold something maybe five to ten seconds longer than they were able to last time. So for them, it's just a confidence thing, get you out of your bubble. Raw Fitness plans to keep going and growing every week, continuing to inspire and rise above go. hardship. The, the biggest thing that I want people to take away from this is that you're not alone. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, you just have to uh, seek it. And once you seek it, push forward, uh, push forward towards it and, and never stop, never stop, uh, never stop moving. For SA Live, I had a tiger.
I'm Jen ah, Tobias I'm Strasky. Not I say, I retire, Misty. Incredibly inspiring. That's great. Right? Yep. All right, next on the show, pumpkin spice makes everything nice, especially for your pampered pets. We'll show you an easy fall recipe you can make for your pups. And earlier we asked you, okay, what's your favorite side? Mary says, Mimi, my late mother-in-law's squash ca oh squash casserole is so good, super yum. Also, her apricot jello made with apples. Wow, that sounds really good. For this month's Go Public Cool School. This month's schools are from the Northside Independent School District, Hobby Middle School, Rudder Middle, Middle School, and H.B. Zachary Middle School. Let's go to the tally board right now, folks. All right, the school with the most votes is Zachary Middle School, 47% of the vote. They've Remember, got, the school with the most votes at the end of the week will be featured right here on SA Live. They've got more than 2,300 votes, and all together we've had about uh, 4,000 plus or so votes. That's fantastic. All right, um, if you'd like more information, visit website, uh, go to Go Public, Cool School. Thank you very much. A big thanks. I lost my place on my script there. Thanks very much to Go Public for making school schools possible each month. For more information, visit their website. Is this live? Can, I, can, I, can we stop taping? Let me start over there. We go public.com. You're just so excited because I we've got the that one, puppies here. Look at the babies. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And fall is time for delicious treats, and your puppies shouldn't be left out. Yes, because oh. especially in the morning when they're still in their jammies Jammy and jams. they just woke up. And if you want a nice little treat for them... Look at that. Alexis Caroga from Positively Sweet Bakery joins <laughs> us with some pumpkin-inspired recipes. Somebody's yes, you're wandering right. over because he's like, hey, all, everything's over here. Yeah, this is where the party's at. It smells at. really good, doesn't oh, it? Hey, oh, hey, look at this. Oh, yes, it does. Oh. Do you, do you need more pancakes there, buddy? <laughs> like, I hope yes. you're going to give me some more. We'll get you in a second. All right, so we are making pumpkin pancakes yes. for your pet, right? Yes, they are all natural, and I know when you're having your breakfast, you don't want to leave your little one out. I know Jen confessed to me she gave some to her dog, so we will <laughs> learn how to make them on our own. Right, and, so, and the, so the difference between, uh, like, what what, uh, what Jen did, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I don't know why it sounded like that, but um, is, is t tell us what the difference is on why this is healthier for, for And like, you can actually pet. eat these yourselves, so... Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to have any sugar in it besides mm -hmm. a natural kind of sweetener like maple syrup. Or you can use honey as well. Okay. Um, I use an organic one. If I use honey, I get it local from the farmer's market so that way it doesn't have any extra sugars or mm -hmm. sweeteners okay. added onto it. And then so we're using whole pumpkin, you know, our flour. So we can start off by adding in our flour. And we're actually going to put in flaxseed as well. And mm -hmm. that's really good for their skin and coat. Oh, so there's an extra So all the stuff that people benefit. eat is good for dogs yeah. too. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah, yeah, we can add in our pumpkin mm -hmm. and again you could actually eat these i mean yeah. they smell really good <laughs> where's that spatula from earlier <laughs> exactly whoops yes. and then our eggs will be Here some we go. extra protein this. this and go. there are benefits for pumpkin right oh yes pumpkin's really good because it's very hydrating for them mm -hmm. and then also it's really good for their urinary tract a lot of people will give their dog pumpkin just straight pumpkin when they're having tummy issues tummy mm -hmm. issues oh yeah yes. no Okay. And then we can add in a little bit of maple syrup and water. And that is, of course, in place of sugar, like mm -hmm. you mentioned. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then maybe yeah. just a tad of water. A little bit of water. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. There we yep. Go. And then our batter is coming out really well now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we do have it also right here pre-made. Okay. And then, of course, when you're using it, you want to grease it. That way it doesn't get stuck. And your pancakes will look great. Okay. okay. Oh, and you've already got some made over there. Yeah, I just made you do that. What are some other... <laughs> it's good practice. So, um, some other people foods that you wouldn't think would be good for dogs. Well, actually, the pumpkin seeds are really good, too, which oh, a lot really? of people are kind of worried about seeds in general because you hear mm -hmm. a lot of people say, don't give them apple seeds, avocado seeds. But pumpkin seeds are really beneficial for their skin and coat as well. Yeah. Would you leave the salt off? Because I know dogs love salt. Yeah, you could. I mean, if you can find them natural without salt, that'd be better. But it's not too much of an issue if you give them. Because you're not probably going to give them a ton of pumpkin seeds. Okay. And over there at Positively Bakery, of course, we have so many great little treats and everything like that. And little goodies and these little doggy bags, mm -hmm. literally. So, okay. All right. Well, let's let's not talk anymore. Okay. Are, you, are you ready? 
Here. No, we can at least Here's give them that while we start on this yeah. next one. I'll tell you what, you, you two share, okay? It's just this yeah, one. there you go, okay. I'll just pour it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and okay. this is where you get the phrase, wolfing it down. <laughs> yes. Are those okay. good pancakes? I think they like them. Okay. You're and, a hit. And now we are making the pup lattes. You know, because they're really? tired. They just woke up. They're still in their jammies. They need something to, you know, a little pick-me-up. Okay, what's, okay. In the, what's in the latte? It's just pumpkin, yogurt, cinnamon, and some maple. And yogurt's good for, for dogs, too. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. So oh, here we let's go. Gar let's garnish it. garnish the latte for the <laughs> you dog. Can't With just, a yeah, you can't let it. dog cookie. Mm -hmm. Yes, by, yes okay. by all means. Here you go. <laughs> you like that? Oh. Aww. Okay. All right. So, there, yes, um, where can yes, folks that's find you? good stuff, right? Um, we're gonna be we're at the Pearl Farmers Market every Saturday and Sunday, and as well as we have a shop located by the AT&T Center on Commerce Street, and then of course we do sell our really products like that, online. You? We're gonna be having little pot pies for Thanksgiving, which will be a great little additive for them. Oh, yeah. So this this right here? It's That's a, a little chicken pot pie. Oh. We have some turkey ones as well for Thanksgiving. We're going to have little pumpkin pies. Oh, oh my, goodness. Look my at that gosh. Thing. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> All right. Great stuff there from Alex Kroger from Positively Sweet Bakery. For more information on them, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I think they like it. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming up on SA Live, self-defense moves that everyone can learn. Prob Magali is here to show us a few techniques you should know. I'll pay attention so I can save you faster. Thank you very much. Plus, the final four will be in San Antonio in less than six months. We'll tell you how you can help give back to the city as hundreds of tourists plan to be in town and how you can get some free swag as opposed to the other kind of swag. Who are you? That's right, the Final Four is returning to the Alamo City in 2018. That's next year, and you can be a part of all the action. Here to tell us how to get involved is Mary Ullman Jaffet, Senior Vice President, San Antonio <laughs> Sports. Oh my God! Are you excited? Good, I'm glad I you're excited take so it much. Down or not. Okay, this is so incredibly exciting. Good. And this time around, folks can be even closer to the action. Yes, absolutely. We need volunteers. We need about 3,000 volunteers. And they can start even right now. But we, really during that week is when we'll need the bulk of them for sure. So this is a great thing yeah. for any Spurs fans. I mean, this is this is big. Yeah, I mean, you you don't have to be a basketball fan or right. have any basketball knowledge whatsoever. Mm -hmm. These are the folks who are on the front lines. They're our great ambassadors for our city. As more than 100,000 visitors come to the city for the Final Four, our locals are coming downtown to be a part of Fan Fest and the Final Four Music Fest. There's a lot going on, lots of opportunities to get engaged. And... Let's talk about what they get, because they get some swag, right? Oh, yeah. Volunteer? I mean, well, listen, we do, we're going to take care of our volunteers, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, they get everything from a very nice Under Armour polo shirt Ooh. to a, a cap and a, and a, a sling bag, mm -hmm. and they'll get a ticket into uh, the Final Four Fan Fest, which is really exciting. That's four days of just basketball pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> so... Who can sign up? What? 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 It's, the only requirements are that you are 18 years mm -hmm. of age and can pass a background check. Other than that, we want everybody. We've got jobs across, uh, oh, just the the whole spectrum. So it's everything from greeting folks at the airport and hotels to working, to helping us to to man the the gates at Fan Fest and helping you know, guests at the music festival. So I mean, it's just across the board. We've got so many ancillary events. Events that happen beyond mm -hmm. what's happening in the Alamo Dome with the actual games themselves. So we, we need 3,000 people. There's room. There's room. <laughs> yeah. And if you're interested in volunteering, you can even get started now. What is Absolutely. the only in San Antonio sweepstakes? Okay. Well, to volunteer, you go to final4sanantonio.com. That's the site that you can volunteer at. And it's also the site where you could sign up for our local sweepstakes. And it, we call it our only only in San Antonio because it's... We're giving away experiences that you can only get in San Antonio. So uh, 
a family of four can ride the river barge during the holiday river parade. Uh, we're going to let a family of four swim with the beluga whales at, at SeaWorld. And all sorts of wonderful mm -hmm. experiential e events like that that are, we're giving away month to month. Mm -hmm. And then it ends with this great staycation during the Final Four that includes your hotel, VIP passes, tickets into all the different events, including the games. Wow, that's yeah. incredible, yeah, especially that state great, right? station sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So how is hosting this huge event? I mean, it's just going to be incredible for the city of San Antonio. Well, it's, an, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And San Antonio Sports, UTSA, and the city of San Antonio work very hard to bring it here. And we do it for a lot of reasons. It's got enormous economic impact. It'll be more than $135 million in economic impact in that one week. And starting next week, when the, when the college basketball season kicks off, we're going to be hearing about the road to San Antonio. So the media exposure for the city of San Antonio and our community is really priceless. So there's a lot of good reasons for us to want to bring it here, but we also leave a wonderful lasting legacy for the youth in our community. The NCAA is helping us to build out some basketball courts around town. There's a lot going on here. All right, great stuff and great opportunities. There's the information on your screen. Go ahead, volunteer for more information on it. On volunteering for the Final Four or to register for the only in San Antonio sweepstakes, you can call 210-820-2113. That's 820-2113 or head to FinalFourSanAntonio.com. All right, coming up next, dark lips, mob eyes, fall trends are in for makeup. Nix is here to show you how to get this look for less than 20 bucks. We'll be right back with those deals right after we pay the bills. If you're looking for some fall makeup that won't break the bank, NYX Professional Makeup can help. Autumn Walden, Executive Store Manager from NYX, joins us today. And we have a couple of models here, and we are talking some fall makeup looks. We'll talk what's trending and things like that. Um, who do we have here? This is Tori. Hi. Hi, Tori. <laughs> yeah, so you do have my beautiful model here. And what I'm going to be talking about is an easy, simple, monochromatic look. So we have the eyes that match the cheeks that match the lips. And I'm going to be using our Stockholm City Set Kit, which is great for the holidays because it comes with four eyeshadows, two blushes, and then it also comes with the lipstick. So it's only $15. Amazing for a gift for your little girls that are you know going to high school, um, for your moms, your grandma, anything that you can think of. So I'm going to just show you here on Tori's eye just some quick, simple tricks to give like that really soft blown out look and I'm gonna use this little more magenta shade here so with fall trends it's all about using the warm tones or even like burgundy tones um, to mimic you know obviously the change in the weather the right. beautiful leaves things like that and I'm using more plum tones obviously because this one does have more plum tones in it and what I'm doing is I'm just pressing it onto the lid and another good trick is to hold your brush up like this if you experience a lot of fallout as an artist that way it ensures that the shadow doesn't fall down onto the cheeks and you can just lightly press it onto the lid there. I'm also going to take a little bit of a lighter brown shade. This is great for transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it a little bit higher up and it's going to just diffuse all of those shadows really beautifully together. If you're attempting this at home and say you do have kind of a harsh line, mm -hmm. what would be the best way to correct that or soften it? So by using the belly of the brush here, I just love to press it right on that outer corner and just use it to flick it out towards the ear, which will basically just erase any harsh lines using no product or minimal product, whatever was on your brush. And that kind of erases it and gives it that diffused, smooth look. Okay. And then now I'm going to go on to cheeks. So with the fall season, it's always about skin, highlight, very dewy, dewy, fresh skin. So I love to use these holographic sticks that have a really nice shimmer to them. And I love to put them on the back of my hand to warm up the product. And then what I'll do is I'll use my finger and I love to just press it on the high points of the cheeks. So as you can see there, it gives a really beautiful reflective glitter onto the skin. And then what I love to do is I go in with just our Born to Glow palette, which is beautiful because it has six different array of shades. So it's great for makeup artists. It's good for everyday use as well. I love to use palettes to mix shades together. So as you can see, I'm just kind of dabbling in both. And what I love to do is just set that really lightly on the very high points of the face. So you can see right around this orbital bone right here on the tail of the brow. And then I'll go right above the arch of the brow as well, just to set it and keep it nice and tight. 
Look at that. You are ready for a cover of a magazine somewhere, Tori. Yes, beautiful <laughs> okay. and glowy. Okay, tell us a little bit about NYX Cosmetics. So NYX Cosmetics is a brand that started back in California. And um, it's a great brand that has very quality products for an affordable price. So that's why we've been so successful here in San Antonio, as well as the other 42 doors that we have in the United States. We are also global. Um, so we have great products that are very comparable to Sephora products, as well as MAC products for half the price. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the deep vampy lip for fall time, which you can see a lot of women trending right now. Um, so with the fall lips, you want to go again with the burgundy tones, the more red, warm tones, um, even deep plums. Those look beautiful. Um, up against a really soft, beautiful palette on the eyes. Mm -hmm. So what I love to do is I always use a lip liner. I feel like this is kind of an unspoken tool that people just forget to use these days. So now I'm going to go in with the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And this is a beautiful deep burgundy shade. Um, and what I love about these is that if you are somebody who is just like a teacher and can't really do like a super bold lip, the great thing about these is that these are meant to be layered. So you can do like a soft application or you can go in and do a few applications if you really want it to be super intense and really vibrant. It also has a great soft doe foot applicator, so that way you don't have to do a whole lot of prep work or anything with the lip liners. You can just trace it really nicely with the side of the doe foot as I'm doing here. There we go, and look at that. Yes, and these do That's dry the matte. Vamp lip. <laughs> it is the vamp lip, yep. Okay, great stuff from NYX Cosmetics. For more information on them and these products, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, veteran owned and family inspired, we'll take you inside Cafe Zinho to show you what makes them so unique. Mom Welcome back, everyone. Well, as we get further into the holiday shopping season, you're going to be out a lot more and picking stuff up and not really thinking about your personal safety and getting a little bit of a self-defense training may not be a bad idea because there are some folks out there that may want to do you some harm. And Tendi Lopez Cardenas from Krav Maga is here. And this is something people really have to be aware of, not just getting your, your packages stolen from your car, but your, your personal safety, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, as the holiday season is coming up, we're doing a lot more shopping. We're in the malls, we're in the supermarkets, it's crowded, we're in parking lots. Um, and so, this is a time for opportunity for thieves or for robbers or anybody who's just looking to do some crime to, to find people who aren't necessarily paying as much attention and are a little bit easier targets. Than right, because you're thinking be. about everything else except right. what's around you and who's behind you, right? Exactly, yes. Now, what is one of the tips, without going into the demonstration, first of all, that somebody should always think about if somebody comes up to them. What's, what's the first thing you want to do? I mean, if somebody's coming up to you already, um, you want to be able to make eye contact and look at them, right? If you can rec recognize their face and acknowledge them, you're less of an easy target because, hey, if there's a lineup later on, you've seen them and you know what they look like, right? Part of that is being ready and making sure that when you are walking to your car, your head is on a swivel, you're paying attention to your surroundings, meaning you're not on your phone, you're not checking your bag, you're not digging through your purse or your bags for uh, for your keys, Get your right? keys in your hand before you even go out of yeah. the... Before you leave okay. the store, right? Already right. have them where you know they are. You are going... She attacked me earlier, so now you're going to... Turn about fair play. You're going to be attacked right now, and we're going to go through this at full speed, and then she's going to describe what went on. What so going Jason's on? going to be doing the attacking. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And Jason and <laughs> So now, since that happened at the blink of an eye, and that's the thing, quick reaction and everything, Absolutely. what did you actually do to him? So um, we refer to these attacks as bear hug attacks, where mm -hmm. they're coming from either from behind, from in front, but in this case from behind, and he gets his arms around me, right? Okay. Um, and in this case, he picked me up as well, and he might be trying to relocate me, smash me into the car. Right. Things that I don't want to happen. So immediately, as soon as I can, I try to base out and I get my feet on the ground mm -hmm. um, and I get myself nice and low to make myself a little bit heavier and more difficult to move. From here, if my arms are free, I'm sending elbows to his face. Boom, right? I'm sending the other one as well. Boom, just in case he's on the opposite side. As soon as these arms start to loosen up, I'm turning in 
And I'm immediately going for easy, soft targets. So that might be the face, the nose, right? I might go for the throat with an elbow or a strike right here. Um, groin strikes are an easy target. I might go with a kick or with a knee. Um, and as soon as he starts backing up and I get some space, then I can get out. Okay, all right, we've got another demonstration. And the thing is, no matter how big and tough somebody is, these soft targets, eyes, nose, throat, toes, anything like that, groin, Absolutely. you can't toughen that up, so. Correct. Okay, all right, another one. So our second one. Okay, <laughs> popped an earring out as well. So oh. the same thing where you just reacted very quickly. And that's, that's the mm -hmm. whole trick, right? Yeah, exactly. Immediate reaction is what we try to train when we train any sort of self-defense. We don't want there to be a lag time between the attack and when we go, because that gives them more time to do harm, right? Okay. So in this attack, he's getting his arms around me, hmm, maybe covering up my mouth so that I can't make noise. Mm -hmm. Um, immediately, I'm getting my hands to his hands, and I'm driving my shoulder into his body. Boom, right? From here, it's kind of hard to see, but right. I've got a little bit more space. Okay. Thank you. Boom. And I pull myself out. My head comes out. My head comes out. From here, I'm simply doing the same thing I was doing before. I'm looking for soft targets where I can do a lot of damage quickly and going for them. And if, face. if it's a, a purse, a bag, things like that, it can be replaced. Absolutely. You just let it go and run. Right. right. This okay. is physical acts against me, okay. not necessarily trying to take my purse. Okay. Tenny, mm -hmm. Jason, thank you very much. Thank Some great you so advice. much. And if you'd like more information about Krav Maga, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ken, thanks very much. Thank we'll you. be right back. The all right, earlier we asked you, what is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? The one you can't live without, Julianne says, being originally from New England, it was always my mom's parsnip and carrots mash with lots of butter. Ooh, that sounds really good. Mm -hmm. I like that. And another wonderful mouth-watering side dish. Nope, not working. But just think of all those. And again, if you want us to taste any of your side, bring them here. We'll be oh, happy to. Oh, yes. No, that would be great. Right. Stamp of approval. <laughs> so, hey, it's a cozy little spot for Brazilian coffee and home-cooked meals. We are going to take you inside a veteran-owned cafe over there in Selma. That's coming up tomorrow. Yes, we will see you.